All right, a big win for U.S. soccer today. The Federation announced in a new collective bargaining agreement, both the men's and women's team will take an equal split of the World Cup bonuses. So equal pay. Fox 12, Paulina Aguilar has much more from the Fox 12 mobile newsroom. Hey, Paulina. Hey, Bonnie. Well, the pay gap has been a long time coming. Players from the U.S. women's national team say that they experience gender discrimination being paid way less than the men. Equal pay, years in the making. This time around, U.S. Federation President Cindy Parlo Cohn took an opportunity that would make history. The men were out of contract um, and the women were up for renewal. So it was kind of and since we hadn't finished the renewal with the men, it was an opportunity to put them on the same timeline of renegotiations. With this new agreement, both teams will receive the same pay when competing in international matches and competitions. They will split the pool prize money from their respective World Cup appearances, starting with the men this year in Qatar. They will also share commercial and ticket revenue. I think what we've accomplished is definitely a land, landmark in process, in progress when it comes to gender equity. Um, I think we set a new standard of value for women in the workforce. The women's team will no longer have guaranteed salaries for some players and will have the same pay to play payment structures as the men's team. To give you an idea, the men's bonus for the 2022 World Cup in Qatar will be 400 million and the women for next year in Australia will be 60 million. We're just the, the moment that we're in and the guys on this team um, really stepping forward and, and championing this. Because it's not easy to give up the money that they're giving up, but um, to know that it's the right thing to do and then to step up and do it, um, I think they should be applauded. It just makes it all the more rewarding to to recognize the, the group of individuals that, you know, came together and did this for the first time in history. So really proud of, of our group. Back in February, players from the U.S. women's team, including Thorns players Becky Sauerbronn and Crystal Dunn, settled a class action equal pay lawsuit against the U.S. Soccer Federation for $22 million in back pay. And they hope this sets the tone for the future. And this is just a really historic moment um, that will hopefully lead to meaningful changes and progress, not only here at home in the U.S., but around the world. And I think this will not only impact soccer, but it will impact sport in general, as well as society. The men's team have yet to win a World Cup, while the women have won four. Have won four. But hey, who's counting? This new agreement will begin June 1st and go all the way through 2028. Reporting in our mobile newsroom, Pauline Aguilar, Fox 12, Oregon. Great news.